Hi everybody, welcome to JNS Farms. And today I thought I would share with you something that um, made me pretty excited last time I went into the tractor supply. And uh, that is this new feed that they have. Uh, they have it on a trial basis right now. But I've seen it in there and I got pretty excited. Uh, it's the first time that they've ever had the non-GMO feed in my tractor supply. And what makes this feed even better is it is also made in Missouri. So, um, I believe Ava, Missouri is about four hours from here. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that they are. Um, anyway, I was pretty excited to see this. Now, this is a, a grower ration, and I'm sure you can hear in the background we have some peepers. Um, they are uh, the Cornish Cross chickens and we are going to be feeding them out and I thought this time I would try this feed out uh, while I am doing that and it does have a pretty good um, protein content I had to rip it in half because of the way they had it on the bag but as you can see it's got pretty good protein there's 18.68% uh, protein and uh, all kinds of good goodies there and uh, it's all non-GMO and uh, anyway I was pretty excited about that that's the first time that they've ever had some kind of feed like this so anyway um, and I will go ahead and show you the peepers here in just a minute but um, anyway yeah pretty excited Okay, so there is uh, what the feed looks like. It's got a really nice consistency, and uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, the chicks seem to find it pretty palatable, and they are digging in for sure. They really like it. Um, and uh, the, uh, the cost uh, for the non-GMO uh, uh, bag of feed is uh, $22.99, which is a little bit higher than what the uh, the regular uh, feed is but I thought I would give it a go and see how it turns out uh, see if there's any noticeable difference in the end when uh, when we do go to butcher the chicks so um, well there'll be chickens when we butcher them but anyway so there's a consistency I think it's pretty nice okay here's the peepers and yes they are in my kitchen still um, <laughs> they are going out to the brooder box this morning uh, uh, they're going outside to the outside brooder box this morning um, and it's just an old Quonset hut that we converted into a brooder box but they're big enough now uh, and they're getting pretty crowded in here so it's it's time but um, anyway there's uh, uh, let's see I think there's 53 of them in here and uh, I'll have to count them whenever I uh, move them outside but uh, these guys we got for free, um, and uh, we're excited to have them. But uh, anyway, um, all I watch out, Z. All I have them in is just an old box that I found, and with the uh, the heat lamp. So anyway, I thought I would take you guys through the process of raising a batch of broilers, and. Uh, let you know what the final cost is on that and uh, all that good stuff so you guys uh, I'll see you later and take care and uh, I'll be back with you in about a week whenever these guys uh, are another week old so bye guys <laughs> 